Amazon chief Jeff Bezos making some headlines on space from Washington's International Astronautical Congress. Our Morgan Brennan is there now and joins us live. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Carl, that's right. So this is one of the biggest space conferences of the year, and Jeff Bezos took the stage to receive award, an award uh, a little bit earlier this morning. Here's the big news uh, from his time on stage. He announced that his other company, Blue Origin, is partnering with some of the biggest companies and most well-established companies in the space industry to bid on the NASA contract to quite literally land humans back on the surface of the moon. So Bezos saying that Blue Origin will partner with Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Draper for this human landing system, which is part of NASA's Artemis program to return Americans to the surface of the moon in 2024. This is a national team for a national priority. Uh, we could, I could not be more excited to be doing it with these partners. And this is the kind of thing, it's so ambitious. It needs to be done with partners. This is the only way to get back to the moon fast. And this time we're going back to the moon and we're not going back to the moon to visit. We're going back to the moon to stay. So through this partnership, Blue Origin will be the prime contractor, which is notable in of itself. It's also building the so-called descent element. So this is the vehicle that will actually land on the moon. You can see the prototype of that. This is called Blue Moon right behind me on display here at IAC. There's a transition spacecraft as well. That's going to take astronauts from a lunar orbiting space station called Gateway, which is a separate competition that's afoot at NASA right now, to a lower orbit near the moon's surface. That is what Northrop Grumman is working on. There is an ascent vehicle that's going to return those astronauts to the Gateway. That is what Lockheed Martin is working on. And it's actually expected to be reusable. And then Draper is going to uh, provide all of the flight avionics, the flight control systems. So what this actually means, why this is significant, you have one of the biggest names in the so-called new space era teaming up with some of the biggest, most established of the quote-unquote old space names for this contract. And this is a government competition that is being very closely watched. Now, in terms of the actual value of this competition, we don't know the numbers yet, but NASA has been moving very quickly on this, and they are taking their bids. The bids have to be submitted for this contract next Friday, November 1st. It's putting this team of heavyweights in competition with Boeing, which is actually also here and is presenting these little cards of its mock-up of its lunar lander, and possibly, at least the expectation is, the speculation is, SpaceX, which is expected to potentially bid with its newest rocket that's under development, Starship.